Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, for being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. It is Sunday afternoon, and I want to wish Michael Irvin a happy, happy birthday. He turns the same age as I am, 57 years old today. And you know what? Marriott could make it a very, very happy birthday as well if they could go ahead and just, just, just get this thing settled. Let's get this thing settled. In case you have been under a rock, in case you don't know, we are actually waiting for Marriott to produce information that they deemed um, the reason why Michael Irvin has been suspended from the NFL Network as well as ESPN, and that being a third-time court-ordered discovery of the tape that Marriott literally does not want to put out there. If you've been under a rock and don't know what's going on, a week before the Super Bowl, Michael Irvin, who was staying at the uh, Marriott Renaissance Hotel in Phoenix, Arizona, as Marriott put it, which is independently owned, that each one of these properties are independently owned. They only hold about 38 actual properties of their own. They're basically the parent company. Michael Irvin, who was coming back from doing some taping, um, went into the bar where some fans saw him, asked to take some pictures. He said, you know, let's take them outside because he didn't want to take the pictures inside the bar, returned inside, had a 45-second conversation with an employee of Marriott, which we have clips of from a fan, and three eyewitnesses that say nothing happened. Michael Irvin... Finished his conversations, got on the elevator alone, went back to his room by himself, where he ended up getting a knock on the door, and it was Marriott Security basically escorting him out of the hotel, saying that he is got to be out of the hotel. Enter Marriott speaking with him, saying that they have him on tape. Michael Irvin, dumbfounded of what may have happened, um then finds out the next day that he is suspended from ESPN and NFL Network for his coverage. Now, here's where it's kind of crazy to me. It's kind of crazy because we don't have allegations of anything happening. We have no allegations. No police were involved in this situation whatsoever. No police reports, no evidence, nothing. We have an employee who said something to her management company and her management company who said something to NFL Network and ESPN that got Michael Irvin suspended. Michael Irvin claims his innocence. Michael Irvin has three witnesses that also claim nothing happened. As one fan put it, or excuse me, one person who was an Eagle fan, mind you, said he knows Michael Irvin did not touch her because his hands were at his side and he was thinking, what great shape the guy his age is in. (laughs) I wish I was in that shape at 57 like Michael Irvin. Michael Irving, of course, sues them for $100 million trying to get his career and his life back and to clear his name. Now, we all have skeletons in the closet. We all have things that we may have done in our younger years. But it's not so much what you have done in the past, but what you have done in the, since the past transgressions. We are a very forgiving society. Michael Irvin opens up a $100 million suit against Marriott. The accuser, and it's in a Texas court. Marriott, looking at that saying, We're not going to get a fair shake in a Texas courtroom. We want it to go to a federal court, meaning uh, as opposed to a local court judges being voted in, as opposed to federal judges being appointed by the government. Federal judges typically are more for business than the individual, especially if they are put in by a Republican. Not to get politics in this, this judge was put in by actually Obama. And for the bad luck of Marriott, 
This is the same judge who was actually making favorable ju- make favorable judgments in the Zeke Elliott case versus the NFL. Marriott goes on to say, this case should be thrown out because each one of these properties are individually owned, which sounds good and is a reasonable argument to say, hey, that was that one hotel's decision. We got nothing to do with that. The only problem is, is you ended up saying Michael Irving is not welcome in any of the hotels and resorts, thus no longer making it solely an independently owned one. Follow me? Now, I'm not a lawyer. Don't pretend to play one. But I've watched enough shows, enough courtrooms to understand that one. You can't go ahead and be selective in saying we've got nothing to do with it and then make rules that say you do have something to do with it. Okay. Enter judge number two saying turn over the tapes. He has the right to see them. Marriott says we turned over the tapes to the NFL, but we don't want to turn them back over to Michael Irvin because he'll use them as propaganda. Use them as propaganda. So wait a minute. Let's back this up for a second. We have one employee's word and an alleged tape as evidence that cost the man his career. And you don't want to show the evidence and you do not want to say what the charge is. Anybody else feel like that is kind of crazy? Because if that's the case, anybody could say, I didn't like what they did and gets you fired. Whether you did anything or not, the court said, sorry, you have until Tuesday at five o'clock to turn over the tape. Yeah, I'm betting. And again, I'm not an attorney. I'm betting that this all continues to go in Michael Irvin's favor. If Marriott is afraid for this tape to come out because they'll say that Michael Irvin will use it as propaganda and that he shouldn't be in a hurry to get this thing resolved. Um, I'm betting that if Marriott were the one that were put on hold, if you could not do any business until this case was resolved, if somehow Michael Irvin could get a cease and desist order that Marriott could not rent any rooms to anybody, I can guarantee you that Marriott would be in a hurry to get the case resolved because then it's messing with their livelihood much like it is messing with Michael Irvin's. So for a birthday present, Marriott, turn over the tape or write a check. Get this thing over with. I believe, and I, I, you know, of course, everybody has their day in court, unless you're Michael Irvin, that maybe Marriott can prove that something went amiss with Michael Irvin. But thus far, we don't even know what Michael Irvin is alleged to do. So I would hope that Michael Irvin has a very happy birthday come the end of uh the month we have actually the autograph signing show michael urban is scheduled to be there i hope to see him there and hopefully this case will be resolved and we'll be able to actually congratulate him so happy birthday michael urban and uh appreciate you bro